Hi, I'm Simon, and this is a demo of a tool I'm releasing called Django SQL Dashboard. So Django SQL Dashboard is a way of running SQL queries um, in read-only mode against your database and creating dashboards to share your results. So this is the interface right now. You can see it shows me all of the tables that are available to me, and I can just click on a table and run some queries that way. So here we've got a select count star against this table, and we've got select star, and we can start seeing the content that's embedded in there. Um, and these are all editable, and I can start from scratch here. So I can say select star from blog, blog mark, limit five, or limit four, and there's that query executed. But where this gets fun is when you start building up these different types of queries. So this is the database for my blog, and my blog has tags. Um, there's a table down here called blog entry tags, which maps entries on my blog to their tags. Now, um, that's not particularly exciting as it is. So let's do a join. I'm going to say select star for blog entry tags, join blog tag on blog tag.id equals blog entry tags.tag.id. And now we've got the individual tag. And you'll notice there's a count link at the top. This is a shortcut for building a new SQL query, which essentially does a count group by against that column. So now I've got a count of the number of times each of these tags has been used. And now we're getting to something a bit more interesting. But the, um, a really fun feature of this is that it can do visualizations for you based on the column names that you return from a query. I'm gonna say select tag as bar underscore label, comma, count star as bar underscore quantity, bloody bloody blah, and I'll order by bar quantity at the end. And if I do that, it notices that I returned um, columns called bar label and bar quantity and turns them into a simple chart for me. Uh, a more, an even more fun uh, visualization, one that I just added today, is it can do word cloud. So if I say word cloud underscore word, and then count star as word cloud underscore uh, count, and I'll order by that here as well. Now it gives me back a word cloud. Um, if I click save this dashboard, I can fill in this form. I'm going to say tag cloud um, as the title, and it's going to give it the URL tag hyphen cloud. I'll make it public so anyone can see it. Click save on that dashboard, and now simonwilson.net slash dashboard slash tag cloud is a tag cloud of um, tags that I've used on my blog. Um, there's a load more stuff that you can do with this. The documentation is available online here. Um, it's got the ability to do named parameters. It can show you progress bars. You can even generate markdown and HTML as part of, um, as part of your response. Um, but that gives you, that's a sort of general demo of the kind of thing that you can do with this tool.